Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable port forwarding on your Arlo Smart Hub or base station. I just got a new Verizon router, so I need to set this back up. Uh, this will, of course, enable me to uh, look at my camera's uh, video recordings when I'm away from home and not connected to my home network. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Arlo app. We're going to go to devices. Your Arlo hub or base station. Select that next. Go into that. Go to the storage settings. Go to local storage settings. All right. Uh, scroll down to port forwarding. You are going to enable it. All right. You're going to, uh, yep. And then here it says enable port forwarding. Port forwarding gives a direct connection from the internet to your Arlo hub. By using port forwarding, you risk exposing your smart hub and the contents of any device connected to it to the outside world. Use port forwarding at your own risk. And we're going to accept that risk. Right. And that's just a disclaimer. So right here, it gives us the configuration for that. So we get an IP address and an internal port and an external port. So we're going to remember that. So we got these settings and now we're going to navigate to our router's interface to sync that up and enable port forwarding with, with this configuration. So I'll do that next. Okay. So. I'm just going to log into my home router. And then I'm going to go to advanced. And then I'm going to go to security and firewall. And then I'm going to go to port forwarding. Okay, so I'm just going to add the rule here to mirror the configurations that the Arlo app gave me. I'll do that real quick. Wow. Protocol is going to be TCP. And then there we go. Selected the hub and the external port. Okay. All right, that looks good. And I'm just going to add it to the list. And then I'm going to apply the settings. Okay. So if you don't have Verizon, uh, whatever service you have, it's pretty self-explanatory. Log into your router and in, uh, enter the port forwarding section and then basically enter, enter the configuration. All right, guys, so looking back in the app, you can see that the status now is available, and this is successfully configured to port forward. Anyways, guys, 
I just wanted to jump on here and uh, make this quick tutorial, you know. So you guys have a nice weekend and I'll catch you later.